What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes where I love talking all things VV NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. Now today I really want to talk very briefly about Deadpool. The drop is tomorrow uh, at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Huge deal. Uh, I'm really excited for this job. This is definitely one of my top 10 like favorite superheroes. Technically he's an anti-hero, but it's still a lot of fun. Um, I know some people aren't a fan of the whole like Deadpool like festive look and he has like the Santa hat or the sweater or whatever it is. But if you guys actually know Deadpool and understand him like in the comics as well as like the movies and stuff like that, uh, this is right up his alley. Uh, I think Deadpool's actually got a ton of popularity over the last five or 10 years because of the movies. But even if you just watch those movies or other platforms or other mediums and how they present Deadpool, this is exactly what he does. He likes to make everything lighthearted, sarcastic. He dresses up as other characters. He treats a lot of situations very um, low key because he can, because he's basically, his regenerative abilities are so aggressive and so quick that he can kind of regenerate anything and he's like nigh immortal. There's been times where he's there's only a speck of him left or just a small piece and he regenerates his whole body uh, over a certain amount of time. So that's why he's known as the Merc with the Mouth. He can say whatever he wants because no one can really do anything about him and he just keeps coming back and back and back. So I do think some people actually somewhat underestimate the fan base of Deadpool. Uh, I do think a lot of people are kind of like underestimating how popular he really is. And for some strange reason, I'm just speaking just from personal experience, like I have two friends, one has a Deadpool tattoo uh, on his calf of this like logo right here, almost this exact logo with like the two eyes and the red and stuff like that. And I have another friend that loves doing like Deadpool art and kind of fun things like that. So uh, I also noticed too, again, personal experience, a lot of people that like Deadpool also like Rick and Morty and a lot of people that like Rick and Morty also like Deadpool. I don't know if those two fandoms have like share similar humor, whether it's the character and like Rick and Morty, whatever it is, they also do both tend to have that kind of like not mightier than now, but they're very kind of like in a joking way, like snobbish about like, you don't know all the inside jokes and this and that. And it's like, not enough to just be a fan. You also have to be an advocate of these and like let people know that like, oh, you don't know the inside jokes, ha ha ha, like that kind of stuff. That's just how they are. That's that's just, it is what it is. That's just personal experience. It has nothing to do with the drop. But again, I do think people are sleeping on Deadpool, um, especially it's gonna be hard to do price predictions on this because like three different reasons. One, um, there's gonna be a lot of announcements that are coming up. Everyone knows there's gonna be a lot of big drops coming next week. If Deadpool was like a standalone thing and we had no idea what was gonna be coming over the next like two weeks or so, which has actually happened a lot over the last few months where we just don't even know when like the new IP is gonna be dropping or if there's gonna be a new FA. Um, Deadpool will probably do really, really well, but because we literally had Coke announced yesterday and we know it's gonna be coming Monday, I do think some of the prices could be suppressed a bit. So it might be a good chance to like get a good deal on Deadpool, like middle of next week, late next week. Um, I do think the prices are going to pump a lot and then go back down. Uh, and again, the the festive look, I, I think it's great. I think it's right up Deadpool's alley. I think it's hilarious for the most part. Um, also, just the market has changed over the last, like, I would say two weeks, three weeks. Uh, I think it mostly started with comics. I think comics really laid the groundwork for the collectibles where there was a ton of emphasis put on first appearances as well as the commons. And I think somehow a lot of that translated over to the collectibles where now people like a lot of the times the commons are actually more than the uncommon, for whatever reason, even though it's a more like basic look and it technically has way more additions that the commons just tend to do much, much better than, than the uncommons for whatever reason. So that's why I think the, the uncommons or that I think that's why the price predictions are kind of difficult because there's so many other drops surrounding it. There's a lot of emphasis being put on uh, first appearances like Wonder Woman, uh, Voltron, where Wonder Woman just started running. I remember she started settling on the market. I remember buying her at like 90 gems. I flipped her at 145 because I saw a uh, basically a sell wall at like 150-ish. There was like 20 or 30 orders at 150. And I'm like, all right, it's going to settle there. I'm going to sell it for 145, take my profit. I remember leaving for half the day and I come back like four or five hours later. And all of a sudden, like Wonder Woman's just running again at 300 gems. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what is happening? Same thing with Voltron. Voltron, the common, uh, was settling around like, I think like 70-ish gems, maybe 60. Then it started running. I got all the way up to 150. And luckily I did sell one uh, around like 140-ish. <clears throat> But another one at like uh, 85, 90-ish. So made a good bit of profit there. I could definitely see the same thing happening with Deadpool. So we'll go ahead and scroll down here. So they're gonna have obviously five blind box um, or a blind box drop with five different uh, NFTs, all including all the rarities. I do think people that aren't a fan of the whole festive look of Deadpool are probably gonna like this one most. The comments called Deck the Halls. There's gonna be nearly 19,000 editions. This is the, the common variant. Uh, people that don't like the festive look, this is the most um, 
kind of like low-key look where it doesn't have like it's not overdone with festive his whole outfit is visible he hasn't it doesn't really have much on his head so it's just the hat um, i do think this is probably gonna be the most popular one because again there's been a huge emphasis on fas and commons uh price predictions on this one it's hard to see i could definitely see this one running all the way up to 100 at some point on the market but i think it's going to settle around like this uh probably like the 80 mark i could th i definitely can see it going anywhere between like 75 to 85 i could see it settling around there for the most part again it's so hard to tell because we just had coca-cola announced right like i myself i'll probably try and get like two or three of these comments like when to keep and when to sell or flip um in the future but yeah it's so hard to predict these because again coca-cola was announced there could be some people that buy five or six of these and then coming on you know sunday right like the day before the coca-cola drop some people could just start dumping these because they either don't have enough gems or they do notice that people are selling them they're trying to undercut that guy and then it just keeps going we all know how that goes so um so i would say this one's probably a center route settle around like 80. let's go ahead and take the midpoint i would say 80. uh deadpool uncommon not much to write home about i think this one's probably like the the least impressive one or like least um like interesting and that's i've noticed that kind of trend with the uncommons of a lot of ips if it's like the same character or the same thing but just in five different variants i noticed the uncommons kind of like matt although there are some good ones uh i was going to scroll down to the rare this one has fourteen thousand editions i think this one's going to be the same thing i think this one might settle around like 80 75 i think this one's actually going to be a bit cheaper than uh the common variant it's just going to follow that same trend that's been happening over the last few weeks with the nft drops uh yeah not much to write home about I, I think the sweater look is is all right um but if we scroll down here to the rare this is the first nft that actually has the, the the combo of like the hat the sweater and the weapon and this is the only nft that actually has the weapon out um which i think is really cool initially i thought he was like laying down for a pose but i read down here deadpool vaults in action so obviously he's like jumping over a fence or jumping over a ledge something like that so this is going to be like a cool action pose you can put um in your like vv showroom i think this would be really cool I do think, in my opinion, not, I think the ones that will do the best, not in the sense of like they're going to be the most expensive, but I think the most popular ones are going to be the common and the rare, just because the rare has the full outfit. If people like really want to go go all in with the festive look, I definitely think they're going to go with the rare because it has the weapon out as well as the, um, like the, the whole piece and the common, just because it has the hat, it's the most simplistic look. So basically people that don't like the festive look or do like the festive look, I think they're going to go for the common Deadpool, in my opinion. Uh, the rare... I think it can go as high as 175 like it'll pump that high but it's going to settle around probably like the 140 ish in my opinion i'm not entirely sure again price predictions are really really hard to do uh, for this kind of stuff and again there's about 9,000 additions uh for this deadpool the rare the ultra rare and the secret rare again really really hard to determine there's going to be less than 4,000 for the ultra rare not a huge fan of the look like I like the dancing animation like it's funny it's silly it's it's right up his alley but i think these are going to be so priced out these are just going to price a lot of people out uh ultra rare i think it's going to be priced gosh i would say like i, I think it, it could peak at 350 maybe 400 but i think it's going to settle settle around the low 300s again the fa tag is a huge deal but again we do have a lot of announcements and like people are going to be saving up a lot of gems and maybe holding back on deadpool because there's going to be basically drops daily next week of different nfts so We'll go ahead and see with that. So I think this one's going to settle around 300. Uh, secret rare, less than 2,000 editions for the secret rare. I think this one could actually go as high as like 650 or so, but I think it's going to settle around uh, probably like the low 500s. So like probably like 520, something like that. Uh, my personal opinion, maybe high 400s. It really depends because again, it is uh, a first appearance. Deadpool is a very um, like iconic and really popular, I guess most recently like pop culture a superhero that's kind of like come out of nowhere over the last like 10 years or so a very deadpool christmas first appearance secret rare 2000 yeah so again my press predictions if i can remember them off the top of my head uh this one's probably going to be around 80 ish this one's probably going to be 75 to 80 this one's probably going to be settle around 140 i think this one is going to settle around the low 300s and i think this one's going to settle like around the probably low 500s sorry low 500s high 400s we'll go ahead and see um how that plays out. i know that's like a huge whoops i know this is like a huge margin but it's hard to tell and just as a reminder of course there's going to be licensor fees so eight and a half percent if you guys are looking to flip these if you buy if you buy one of these either the comments the uncommons whatever it is and you want to flip it you're pretty much gonna to have to wait for at least a 10 10 percent price increase to at least like get a tiny profit which is why typically when i'm flipping i'm not a huge fan of like the marvel and like the disney ones because that like eight and a half percent fee is really really brutal but if you are planning on keeping it long term like 
buying any of these I think will be good. But in my opinion, I think the most popular, which doesn't always mean the highest price, will be the common um, as well as the rare, just because either you want the full festive set and you want to go all in, or if you want to keep it as simplistic and minimalistic as possible, I think a lot of people are going to go for the common. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which uh, which one is your guys' favorite uh, of all of the, the rarities and which ones are you guys going to stock up on? Are you guys saving gems for the Coca-Cola drops or things for next week? I would love to hear your guys' comments down below. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys take care and I'll see you on the flip side.